Okay, welcome back everybody to the second or third VM in the Chioptics series. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if if I'm correct when I say the second VM or the third VM. I found a level 2 VM, but which is exactly the same as the first level VM, so uh, I'm not sure what's going on there. I simply will call that the level 2 VM because for me it's this, yeah. The second one and the other one was no difference to the first one so this is level two for me chaotrix level two so uh, with this vm it took me a, a good bit longer to get root on the vm and uh, um yeah made me realize that the, the the phrase try harder really important here because it's easy to just check online um, yeah, how to go forward or to simply get a hint here or there but obviously in the OCP exam or the ECPPT exam or whatever you don't get any hint you have to find it out yourself but I found it out even though it took me very very long so with this VM as all the other, other ones the first thing we do is check our own IP address Okay, 192.168.1.8, okay, and then we run our simple nmap scan as usual. I think I never mentioned that, but of course in a real penetration test, uh, not every not every host or VM is answering on a simple ping scan. So um, this nmap scan I'm doing here uh, would not would probably not work all the time in a uh, real environment but because it's a vulnerable VM and the creator uh, wants you to find the VM of course a simple yeah, ping scan works so that's why I'm doing that but you need to be aware that in a um, yeah, normal environment you probably would face firewalls and this and that and yeah Okay, so as we can see, the nmap scan report for chioptrix 3com which is our vulnerable VM, uh, says that we that the VM is running on 1.6. Okay, so we want to write that down. So I simply create a normal text file, so IP 192.168.1.6. Okay, and the services we're running are SSH on port 22 and HTTP on port Port 80, so very simple stuff. Okay, and as you can see here, the nmap scan already uh, also said, uh, told me the host name instead of the IP. The creator of this VM uh, stated that before doing any uh, any scans or whatnot, you should edit your host file, which you can find under etc hosts. So we simply type in nano. Or whatever editor you want to use nano a uh, etc slash hosts and as you can see here you simply put that in the IP address of your VM which you need to find out and then chioptrix 3com that's it okay so we're obviously dealing with a web server here so the first thing I want to do is check this web server so we go to chioptrix 3com and we have some sort of block running here. Yes, it also also says block here. So I'm not I'm not doing all the manual work which I did before because it would probably uh, waste two hours and the video would be extremely long and boring. So I'm jumping right to the important things here, which which I found. Uh, there are probably other ways to get into this VM. But this is one of the uh, ways I found. So you can check here on the comment section, or oh, not this one. You can check here on the blog if you can exploit some cross-site scripting, for example. As you can see here, I tried all. I already tried a lot of stuff. I'm simply putting in uh, tests here for all the. All the boxes because I know it doesn't work as you can see um, so that doesn't work the next thing I tried or the, the, the thing that actually worked which I tried is um, look for SQL injections okay so 
you see that most of the block here is not vulnerable. So for example, that the uh, usual uh, equals ID whatever uh, is not the case here. So you can't exploit much here. But if you try try to find another way in, you will find this sorting option here, which actually is exploitable, as you can see over here. That gives you the, the typical SQL injection ID equals one and whatnot and so on. So if you come to this point, it's uh, really easy to test for SQL injections, which I what I usually like to do is put in a union, select, null, and bam. Blah, 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 columns are not correct. So we have our SQL error here. Okay, so the next thing, put in enough nulls uh, to find out how many we need. I'm not really sure anymore. So, okay. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, we need six nulls or uh, six columns, and then we get a normal output again. So the first thing I, I do here is see which of those columns we can use to output information. I, use, I like to use add, add version because that always works and it's very easy to uh, check. Okay, so we get our output here, which is not ideal, which would work, but it's not the the best case so we change that and try the next one at add, add version ah that looks much better so we get the version of the uh, the linux uh, we get the linux version here which is ubuntu okay at this point you could obviously go on and do all the stuff manual and by hand but that's in my opinion, very uh, tiresome and yeah, it's much easier to use SQL map. If you know how to use it, then I think it's okay to use SQL map. So we copy the whole the whole link from ID equals one. Okay, make that big here. Then type in SQL map minus U for the URL. Paste in the URL. Minus P for the attack parameter, which is ID. And then let's see. Do we want to test for another database? No. Uh, level one is enough, so type in no. Okay, ID is vulnerable. Do we want to test for something else? No. Okay, that's it. So at this point, it's very easy. We want to see uh, what columns we have. So we type in SQL map minus u and then simply the url again we delete the minus p parameter we don't need that anymore <clears throat> and then minus minus columns that takes a few seconds okay so as you can see we have a database called gallery which doesn't look very interesting uh, then, uh, sorry, a table called stats, which doesn't look interesting, a table called gallerific users, which we could check, but um, for me it seems to be just the users of the gallery, which are not really interesting. Uh, then dev accounts, which looks very interesting, so we will check that first. What else do we have? Uh, Comments, which doesn't look interesting at all. Photos, which doesn't look interesting. And galleries again. So the first thing we want to check is the dev accounts. So the database gallery table dev accounts. So that's what we want to do. So we type in SQL map minus U the URL again, then minus capital D, then gallery for the database and minus t for the table and write in dev accounts and then we simply say dump because it's not much in there so we want to see what's in there and 
SQL map found hashes, password hashes. So we could save them and correct them later or correct them on the fly, which we want to do. Click yes. Uh, click yes again. And we say number one, the default diction dictionary file is all right. So we use that. Password suffixes, no, we don't need that. So say no. Okay, we want we found two passwords already. So the username, Drek and Lone Ferret with the password master in Star Wars. So that's what we want to write down for sure. Info text. Okay. So users Drek the password master. And lone ferret with the password Star Wars. Okay. So at this point, we could uh, check the other other tables if we find something interesting. I will not do that here because I think that's all I need. So we try to connect over SSH. We use the user drag first, and then simply type in the IP or the host name. Password master. Okay, so we are in. So that works. So the first thing I want to check is uh, if we have sudo privileges. So we type in sudo minus l, which will show you where or what you can do or if you can use sudo at all. No. Okay, so the user drag may not do anything on this system here. We can see if we can look around on the system, but it looks like we are really restricted here. Okay, so the next thing we check is to change to the user uh, loan ferret. So we try to use su loan ferret, type in the password. Okay. So we do the same thing here, sudo minus L. Okay, and as we can see, we can use the su parameter and something else which is called, which is located under user local bin ht. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, so we will try to use it. So sudo ht. Okay, it says error opening terminal. So at this point, we probably have to set up the terminal to use. Type in export terminal for terminal. And we need x term minus color. And we try that again. Okay, that works. So this terminal here uh, can be used by using your Alt, I don't know if I pronounced it correctly or not, the Alt uh, key um, on your keyboard plus F for file, E for edit, uh, W for Windows. So I'll, we'll do that. So file. And it looks like we can save stuff and edit stuff and also open stuff. Okay, so first thing I try is to open the sudo file. So I go to etc, look for the file sudo wars. Where's it? There it is. So let's see if I can open that. Okay, it looks like this program here is running as root. Okay, so as we can see here, root of course has everything. Lone ferret is not allowed to do everything. And drag is not even in there, so drag is useless for us at this point. So, to really quickly uh, gain a root shell here, we simply replicate, replicate what we see uh, in the line where it says root, all equals, and so on. Okay, so we delete all that. Oops. Okay, now let's see if we can save that. File, save. Okay, then we get out of here. And now we just simply said, uh, okay, 
uh, load ferret is allowed to do everything with sudo so that means we should be able to change the password of root One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that looks good. So we try to change the root. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we are. We are root on the vulnerable VM. Okay. If we change to the root file, uh, to the root directory, we can see a text file called Croncrates. We open that. Uh, get. Okay, if you got to this point, yeah, then you basically made it. We have a root shell on the system, and this VM is done. Okay, so I will see you all in Kyorprix level 3 or which would be level 2, whatever, I don't know, the next in the series.